explain in this course today we'll be discussing how to create a payment gateway and the payment gateway we'll be creating today will be pay stock how to create so i want you to stay tuned in this channel make sure you do not drop along the line watch to the end i repeat watch to the end because as we go through this course i'll be releasing some secrets on how to do digital marketing watch to the end as i said watch to the end all right again there is something that is so important and that is this make sure you subscribe to this particular channel all right subscribe to this particular channel like it and also share you can comment also it is very necessary what you do do for us is that you encourage us to keep on producing this particular kind of tutorials for people like you and other persons in order to watch it and learn more about digital market so make sure that you do not leave before the end of this video so stay tuned and stay put let's roll all right a stock account so let's just automatically move into that so straight go to our browser and type www.paystack.com so when you get to paystack.com you can read up the interface and see what and what paystack can do that is suited for african audience so it has everything it takes for you as an africa to create a payment gateway right these are the most of um the accept card bank accounts bank transfer ussd visa qr mobile money pos commission so all these things here are what you benefit all the benefits all the services that this particular plate platform offers to our customer so straight away let's just go to create account because that's the main thing of why we are here just click on create account that will open and when it finally loads we see something like this because of um, automatically the browser have dictated that i'm in nigeria so that's why the nigeria is showing, showing here if i'm in ghana or any other part of the world it will be showing so here it has ghana nigeria and south africa so that's a particular company uh, countries that this particular payment gateway covers so sometimes you have difficulties if you're not in this country to open this particular payment gateway but as we have discussed in this course you can also use other payment gateways link your payment so that you are able to collect your money so i'm recording this course right now in nigeria so i will put nigeria i will put a business name let's say my business name is please please events that's my business name i can put my name on the please Okay, then I'll put the other name as Blaze as well. The email address, I will use the demo email to do this because it's just temporary. This account is a temporary account, it's a demo account. I will just use this demo account, uh, demo email to create this account. Then I will put my my number. I'll put my number. Hope they will not reject my number this time around. <laughs> then I put password. I'll create a password. I can choose anything I want. Remember, it's demo account. So we are putting your own. Make sure you use something specific and something great. So that you will not forget and as well be able to meet up the requirement to secure your, your account safe and also as i said this is just a demo account your own will be where you'll be collecting so much money so make sure you use the right thing that is required and i say are you a software developer it depends on you if you're a developer you say yes if you're not then you say no and continue with your account creation I will say I am not, I don't develop software, I will say create account. 
it's okay verify say verify your email address and i'll just save this all right i'll just straight go away straight away go to the email address that i've seen the email they sent to Say confirm email. All right, so I've confirmed the email. I will log in. It's okay. I got it. I'm already in my dashboard. So the account has been created. The next one is to fill information on business in this particular interface. It's a description. What do you do? Say uh, since you are doing the digital product, say. As a digital product creator, staff size which is a one to five because it's still the only industry which industry you belong to. I choose the industry you are, you are functioning. Okay, depends on the industry you are. We just choose this particular industry. Well, here I would say education because you. Just for formality sake, after the category visual learning, okay. So this is other, or you can say other educational services. When you have a business name, you just say Tata, okay. Start a business. So that's okay for you. And you say save this. And you push it. Nice. Right. So I put the email in the same email here and see a support email. Okay, then uh, this put is to put the same email, the number, a website. If you don't have a website, you proceed. If you have a put, it's the official address. Um, you are a Nigerian. You are doing your own where your business is located. You can put your official address. I put Nigeria here. I say state. You can choose a state in Nigeria. I choose um, choose Lagos. City put in Keja. Press the confirm last. They put in Keja here. So that they will keep going. Apartment and so I don't want to put those ones. Then I send proceed right next. Well, now you can put your identity. And the funny thing about this, you have to upload some certain things to prove your identity. Okay, so for your account to be officially accepted. But having done this, at least gone this far, it's have proven that yes, you are the owner of this account. So let me just show you. One of the things that you needed to know so that when you're feeling this after feeling you can as well do the other one and so the particular um the particular area that we're interested in is this place and you look at the transaction this is where you come and view the amount of transaction that have already been recorded by your by pay stack okay the amount of money that your customer have paid in, you check the one you have spent and the one you have received. Customers, you check the customers who have filled or you check returns like customers who ask for return, okay, who probably don't like the product you sold to them, they buy for return. This is where you see it. I pay out the people you have paid. Um, disputes the business that is or whatever the transaction that is disputed all these things are what you see here you can create a sub account and subscription recurring payment plan you can put a subscription it's for subscription you can put it here if it's a plan you can put it here you can decide to create a new like you say add new plan you put input whatever you want to input and if it's a subscription, you also 
they go to plan and put your subscription plan how you want the thing put the the plan name the description the amount the interval the weekly the monthly the daily the hourly that the money will be reading whatever you do whichever one it is you will put the source sub subscription okay so so you can also go to plan and curate the new one it just depend on what you want to um, do or what you want to get from your uh, customers okay so uh, this one is payment page you can create a payment page right so this one particular one is the one that we are so interested on this payment page okay so you click create click on the we click on the payment page this interface will open then you create new when we look at you say one time payment subscription payment product payment so now let's know what each of them is about say one time payment you create a simple payment for your customer to pay you subscription payment you create a payment page for recurring payment and subscription just like that subscription payment this one okay and this one is for product payment you create a page to sell one or more product from your inventories so this one happens to be new they just uh, so depending on the one you you want to do for now we're gonna be choosing this one as a single book will be paying you once All right so you put page name remember we use blaze event so you can put that blaze event you describe your product um say strategy this ceo search in your optimization option you can put or uh, put image of the product or your company if you like then you select uh, put the amount then what you want to call it you want to call it the people's phone number on this page to show advance you can also add other fields okay what if, what else you want to collect from the people okay notify how do you want them to notify you when there is a transaction they can put like when somebody purchased where do you want the person to return to is it your page you want the person to go away if you want the person to return back to your page you put your page you put your page here the, the link the url link they want them to go or the domain name they want to direct them to you put them here that's supposed to be a thank you page okay you sent you put that particular URL here okay then put a successful message like a message you want to tell them like thank you for purchasing this and that we appreciate you thank you for patronizing also something like that then you want to be sent an email so okay where do you want the email to be sent like someone have done a purchase you put the email here you can as well wish to collect additional information from the people that you can just add this so this we identify that is a person I think that they call the person name call the person email address also call the person's uh, phone number all right so you write if I write something you know this this event description of product of say a product okay how much this is 2000 all right so all these ones i'm not interested because i don't know what you want to would like to add okay this you can use your your url okay you add the url here so that when this particular page is directed we still show that you are we selling this product to the customer so after you have filled out this you can then say curate all right say so the page has been successfully created you can copy this link then paste it on your website or on your whatsapp store okay <laughs> and copy this we can whatsapp it to the person directly so that the person can easily click on it and pay and send you a proof of payment even though they will send you an email all right so in your sales funnel so that you can be easily you know, navigate or track your funnel easily so you can let's visit this page and see how it looks like so after creating you can click and to visit the page just as it is okay this is what the person will see 
automatically say this is a test page where you can see how payments page work do not share with your customer okay so this is what they will see they will input their name the email address the phone number and the amount then they say pay all right the email address will help you to do further marketing to upsell them other products that like is important all right so when you have created this payment payment page you can then proceed and then this page will automatically remain here so you can as well anytime any day come back to it and copy the link and use it to collect money so this is the pro process you can use you can also create a storefront here all right project storefront you add a new store put store name the currency you want then you install link like installing i say please don't want. Products you want, add everything you want, then and then upload online. So that is how you can use this one to create a, a store. But what we are interested and in, what actually brought us to create this account is this particular one we have created, which is the payment page. You can also create invoice. You can also create no invoice, but you can request for invoice payment, like the person or professional invoice a simple invoice because you have used to you know simple invoice customer how much okay you can still use this process to to create an invoice to your customer I'd like to avoid the customer the invoice that you need you put the customer email address and you tell you write a small note unless I stress you still use that or email let's use this email address Copy. Okay, you can write some things. Okay, it's time to pay. This is the way it's time to pay. Alright, you can just send PM. Like, Alright, send a request. This is what you are requesting your payment. Probably you have done some transaction with a person and the uh, this time actually to pay so you can send the person a reminder okay that's all right this is the invoice we have sent to this person so this person will go to his or her email address and click on this particular email and make the payment so when the person make the payment definitely receive our pay straight away in our transaction if you go to the transaction we see all the transactions that be affected on this account so this is how you can easily correct the paystack account and use it for every other thing that you want to do if you are a developer and you want to do some hookups with your website um, you are into digital marketing like e-commerce and you need to embed this your particular account with your website so that the transaction can easily flow from your sales funnel all right so you, you just click on settings and come to this particular api keys and the web hooks when you click here we see your secret key your public key and every other things that you need to do say so this key are for testing only please do not use them in production so use this key for to test everything you want because this particular account is still on test mode all right so you see it's still on test mode because we have not finished filling this particular form so when you click here it's required to click but when you finish click when you finish filling all that is required here in life mode it will enable you to do every other thing that you wish to do but whatever uh, everything i've taught here is the way it's supposed to be so just follow the system and get it done when you feel i refuse to continue filling this because it is unnecessary to me all the requirements what they are requiring <laughs> i can't just provide it here because not that i don't have it because i already have this an, this account 
which I've created for my own business. So there is no need for me. This is a demonstrative account of which if you follow the process, gradually you'll be able to fill these particular information as they required from you. Okay, so that is it. And meanwhile, normally when you want to open a bank account, all these things will be required. So this is exactly what you're supposed to put so that it will be authenticated that someone owns this account and you can be traced in case of anything. All right. So thank you for participating and thank you for listening to this course. It is easy to do when you go down and listen to what I've said. Be able to do it perfectly well and get your business running just 30 minutes or thereabouts. Thank you once again.